Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from executeautomation.com and welcome to part 14 of our Understanding Docker for Windows video series. And in this video, we're talking about scaling out with Docker for Windows 2016 and Windows 10. So before watching this part, I would request you to watch part 12 and 13 since this part is going to be a complete continuation of that part. Alright, let's get started. We now know that containers can have and a whole operating system like nano server or windows server core and they can even have applications like a sql server internet information server and some of the operating system specific applications like powershell and command so scaling out with docker is really an important concept and that's why we are really going with docker itself it is not just because virtual machine is too heavy and we are going to Docker. And the reason why we are going for Docker is really different. We are actually trying to scale out with the application services so that it can run on multiple entities as a separate machine or as a separate container so that it can be used to scale out our application. So the real benefit of the scaling out of Docker is really coming while we start scaling out the services as I already said into multiple different containers where each and every containers do specific job and since each containers are going to do specific job we can spin up multiple containers same time this is more like getting one job done from different machines so this is really really cool because your same job will be distributed to multiple containers to perform the operation and these are otherwise called as or termed as microservices so Microservice is an approach to application development where every part of the application is deployed as a fully self-contained components called as microservices that can be individually scaled up and also updated. This is really, really cool. And when the application is constructed using microservices, each subsystem is a microservice. In a dev or test environment on a single box, the microservice might have one instance but when run in production each can scale out to different number of instances across a cluster of servers depending on their resource demand as a customer request level rise and fall right so these are called as microservices and Microsoft has a microservice architecture called as service fabrics and it is running on Azure so we can also use the micro service fabrics to perform these operation on Azure and there are many different other services available along with Microsoft so that we can use that for microservice as well. And these are the real concept coming in for scaling out our application in Docker. So how can we do this, the scaling out things, at least for now, instead of using the service fabrics, we can do using what is called as Docker Compose file. And Docker Compose, Compose is a tool for defining and running multiple Docker container applications. With Compose, you can use a Compose file to configure your application services. Then using a single command, you can start and stop all the services from your configuration in just one single command. And Compose is really great for developing, testing and staging environment as well as the CI workflow. So this is really, really cool because just one single file, Docker Compose, can use for just starting all the services by configuring it based on what you have provided in the uh, compose file and then performing the operation and we have already discussed about docker compose file a lot in our understanding the abc of docker video series in our execute automation channel so you can go back and look at that particular course before understanding or trying to understand how this yaml files has been written so far in docker compose in this particular video that we're going to discuss all right so Docker Compose is the answer for scaling out or running multiple containers same time using that particular YAML file. All right, so let's see what is the scaled plan for our videos then. We are trying to set up a application in one container and the application's database or the backend is gonna sit in a, another container. And we are going to fetch the files required for the application which is going to be fed into the application server from a host machine. So in our case, it is server 2016, which is going to run the Docker services. And that particular machine is going to have all the application specific files, which can be deployed into a internet information server. So basically we are going to have all the files, which is required for running an application within an internet information server into our host machine. And we're gonna copy all these applications file into a internet information server running on a container. So we're gonna do that. And this particular application is gonna depend on a database, which is gonna run a 
run on a different container altogether. So we're not really gonna enable the Internet Information Server into that particular same machine. Rather, we're gonna scale out this time, and we're gonna put the database into a different container so that you can see that we can upgrade these containers same time, or we can even increase the database by doing replication servers into another containers, and we can connect these databases as well like spinning out multiple database servers in a different container. So we can do a lot of things using the scaling out plan. So we are going to do this very, very simple plan here, just one application server container and one database server container, right? This is what we're going to do. So part of the scale out plan is, since we need to copy some of the files from the host machine to the container, and also need to run the internet information server into those containers, we need to build our own image. So I'm saying we need to build our own image. We have not discussed how to build our own image so far in our understanding the ABC of Docker video series as well as Docker for Windows video series. Hence, the first part of the scale plan will be building our own image using what is called as a Docker file. So let's see all these concepts that we have discussed so far into many different videos in our upcoming videos of this course. The first video is going to be the Docker file. So we are going to start understanding what Docker file is all about and how to build a real new image using the Docker file, right? Stay tuned guys. And once again, thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.